What is going on, everybody? Happy Thursday, and welcome to the Scale Science Podcast, episode 35. Damn, we're halfway to 70? Did I do my math correct, Matt? Yeah! Do you know math? (laughs) Do you know basic addition? Randall? school. How do you math? I don't I don't be math in that great, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I math Me either. Good. I get lucky sometimes though. Oh hey, there's the chat. K pop. K Peasy. Hell yeah. Speaking yeah. of speaking of Mr. K pop. Ooh. Mm. Uh e- can I get a yes? K-pop. Hell I yeah, you brother. Me showing this off a little bit, but proportionally, dude, I can adjust slip, and I'll be able to let the brakes off. The if you guys have not watched this yet, slide out of burnout. Which what is, the hell are you doing? Component to neighbors drifting style is to get that that car just to slide forward a little bit and letting it go. So that that servo is also plugged into the receiver. And is also powered by the BEC in Bless the America. electronic speed control. So that whole system is all powered by. Let Milo get a hold of this shit. Then we have the Scale 2020 Active Suspension Dude. Kit. That will be powered. I'm just looking by at this Swift like doing the scale H drag races, man. This would be so sick to be able to roll up to the line and that just is what's gonna kill a burnout. Also, right? Their servos on each of the corners and the active the neighbor, oh. the neighbor's chassis. Yeah, dude, I'd want to like put some extended system. arms on it, and make it like it a gasser, really and just have it like stand way the hell it up. Power, like, um, from the same battery, six seven on a six five seven. You probably thought on yes, you don't afford though. In any way influenced by any other electronics. It Went ahead and dropped the link to his video in our chat. Thank you, Matt. Thank yep, you. I got you, buddy. Oh. I just copied it myself. I was gonna drop it into our I have um, standing the hell Discord. This body. this body is a crew. Anyone out there that. need a Discord link? You can let see. me know. Live show I chat inbound. Tons of boom. No, let me know. High fill primer. I am gonna go Dude, I just, uh, I definitely want to give K pop a shout out on this project. Uh, like, as a the work that, that you have like put in on this thing, man, bar none. Amazing. Black it's fun to watch you just set your mind and eyes on this ridiculously sized, huge project and you're not giving up or quitting or anything, man. You're just like knocking little bits out here and there, and all of a sudden, you're within finishing distance of this thing. Right. Being like, Ready to rock and roll fully, man. So, awesome stuff. Scale is shit, brother. Hell yeah. Things are slow going. Oh, hey, hi. Man, I, uh, dude, I, I mean, I know you're gonna not struggle doing something else sick, but I'm like, what, what's he gonna do that's gonna top this? This is right, what's next. What's next? You. You're uh, you're setting yourself up for some serious work next time, bro. <laughs> Man, anything he touches, go. Like I said, he like King Midas, yo. Yeah. Yeah. Man, yo, tell me it's got more Neo Pixels than ever. Oh, it has. He said, to. He, he said he's working on it right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's, what That's what's up, man. You that means like more that, content right? coming our way. I'm 50 bucks. Are you sanding? <laughs> Ooh. Or are you sanding and maybe sanding some more? He said it anyway. with Hilux. <laughs> oh, man. 50 <laughs> wild. No doubt, saying. Hell yeah. Welcome everyone else in the live chat tonight. Uh, it's freezing in my garage again, so forgive me for shivering, but somehow, with all the help of our fans, I was able to rid myself of these pesky, pesky hiccups. I chugged hey. the beer upside down, and then every time I hiccuped, I also took a drink, like K-pop said, and I'm alive. 
he's alive again. If you're wondering what we're talking about, I actually got this question this week. Down in the little thingies below in the YouTube video, there's a little icon that says live chat. Go ahead and click that. And then you can type and say things along with everyone else. <laughs> the more you know. Also, Discord. Yes. In awesome news tonight, uh, I'm so excited that... Uh, I was, was excited. Wow. Oh, look at that picture, man. Was that a Dang. real is that a real place around here? Not around it's here, but it's real. <laughs> it's, it's is that a real place around here? Dude, have you ever watched a documentary about the guy that free solos this thing? Yeah, in like seven hours or eight hours or some god awful number. What, what mountain is that? Is that Kilimanjaro? K two? No, it's it's in Washington, I believe. Uh oh god, it's on the tip of my tongue. Somebody help me, please. Tell me what the name of this place is. It's uh it's definitely famous. Is that the dude that fell and got his arm stuck and he had to cut it off or some shit? No. Nah. Twenty seven hours. No. Oh, I'm pretty sure opinion. that was in Utah. Yeah, my yeah. teacher was friends with him. He actually knew that dude. That's wild. What? This was oh, the news tonight, and hold on, comments, anyone, anyone, Yosemite. How deep do they go? That's the question, 12, my friend. Well, nine, well. Nine, the nines will probably be deeper than the twelves that they were last time. It's probably the same wheel, just, you know, better looking. Definitely painted different. I think, uh, I mean, it took them 100 years to do it, but this was from the... People, I think, detailing out their wheels once they got them the first time around, like it brought these things to life. Man. But just putting it in that nice black barrel. Mm -mm. So clean. Two different offsets offered. Get at them on Super G, guys. Tell them Scale Science sent you. See, I need some new ones because she looks like bam. Oh. Oh. oh no. Oh god. <laughs> and they're <sighs> look at them. When did they come out? Mm. They said they're on pre order right now. Mm. And they should be I'm guessing dropping by January. Usually <sighs> wheels don't take two thousand years to like release and re release and everything else. Right. But these are the two, these are the two I guess like Randall said they're not new they're just better looking versions of their classic wheels deep dish or fairly deep dish offerings no, um, if the I don't know about you guys have you ever found like scale dynamics offset numbers are not like true to other company offset numbers like a 13 in a scale dynamics is like a 11 MST or something, you know? I have the 12s in the uh, 01s. I like them. The 12s are the deep ones on these ones. It's the, uh, what's the yeah, game? they do 12 and 9, I believe, on both of these sets. I think the 03s are the ones where it's like the 10. I mean, the 9 is actually deeper than the 12. The 12 is like, is like got the flush face, but they got the deep. Oh, let me check. Thank you, Kenji. El Capitan, that's what it's called. Hmm. But I think it might be in Yosemite. Maybe. It's either in California or it's on the West Coast. I don't know. I'm not good with geology. I'm not good with trigonometry. Know what I mean, Matt? Yeah, it's one of those ologies. I don't know. I'm running 12s on the O3s, too. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I... <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's Shout single. out to whoever made your shirt, bro. Oh. No. <laughs> oh what? Notorious fur, bro. That shirt is fire. Oh, 
Well, I got cash shirts for days. Hey, what's up, K? What up, what up? Yeah, for sure. Definitely. I know I know it's like real wheels where they're not necessarily on like a solid spectrum with each other, you know, like for measurement purposes. But Walmart. Anyways, that's uh gonna wrap up the news for us tonight. Wasn't that fun? Man. Hey news. <laughs> it wasn't depressing at all. No, dude. Yeah, good news. That's that's the goal of the news on on our podcast every week. We're gonna hit you with some good news because you ain't hearing good any of that news. anywhere else, right? Watch your news no more. Oh wait, a little bit you of news. You ain't missing anything. I mean, yeah. I got a, a cool good. opportunity. Tell get us cool more. Beast Matt. mode. You're what? I'm going to get a red beast mode RMX. No. Yeah. Um, I don't know anything other than that. They were like, you want it? I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. Weird. Damn, son. So are you going to hop up your original RMX? Yeah. Yeah. Way to go, buddy. And then it's going to be wifey's car. Whenever she comes to the track, there you go. That's uh, that's dope, man. I actually I realized this week that uh, I needed to do some things myself with the RMX. You, you, I will say, inspired me. Thank you. Yeah, buddy. Woot woot. I uh, it's taken me some time to come to grips with. I'm going to call this old dragon mode, a.k.a. the fire fucking dragon that got annihilated by this battery. Oh, you think think we'll get smacked if we call it the Burnticon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yes. I don't care. Let's do it. Oh, man. But, uh, <laughs> that, got me, that got me looking this week. I jumped on Slide Tie, and they make... So this T-plate here that goes in between the braces and the rear tranny, uh, it melted with the battery fire. They make a T-plate delete, so it's just the top piece, and it gets rid of the post that goes down to the deck. Oh. So I'm like, hey, there's two, bo two birds stoned at once right there. Replace the burnt one and move it out of the way so maybe I can play with some battery stuff. My battery posts are fried. So mm. I'm like, okay, I guess I need a battery tray. So I ordered one of those as well. Ooh. And then I'll be looking to uh, do rear ESC again because I had just converted this from being like midship everything to rear ESC and changed up my suspension. And then it caught on fire the night before the track. So I think it's time to resurrect her. And then I was actually talking to our... Uh, direct like sales rep for OMG because uh, we're a vendor for them now and I was telling them how bummed I was that I lost the servo because I love the color of it and everything and they said that they could get me another one so wow super sick I'm I'm hyped on it man like the only thing that I'm like really bummed about but I'm hoping I could take it apart and maybe re-solder a new wire in there is the uh, Onosinki gyro People are probably going to laugh at me for that because everyone's like, they're like 25 bucks, whatever. But it's the gold edition, and they did it for their like special edition, and they don't make them at all anymore. So, oh. yeah, that's why it sucks to lose it. But maybe I can fix it. I'm, I'm not giving up on it completely yet. I got to fix it. So let's see what I can do. So, yo, what's up, Rob? How you doing, um. man? Yo, I actually just got a message today from uh, our buddy Chris from uh, Texas. Ooh. And Rob, he is coming to visit you guys here in a few weeks, I believe. So uh, definitely make him feel welcome, man. And I know you guys will have no trouble. And he's an awesome dude. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing he'll be like us. He's going to enjoy himself. He's cool. He's definitely cool. For sure. 
Hell yeah. You weren't here, man. <clears throat> oh, all right. Yo, Tokyo in the house. What? what? Damn, on the 19th. Matt, cool. we get in the van again or what? Um, let me <laughs> look at my calendar. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know if this is going to show up. 19th. What do you guys think about this little scale building? Is it 24th scale or uh, smaller? Um, Our scale. I think it's probably closer to like probably 12th, maybe 14th scale. That's it's a decent size. I think. I'm, I might be totally wrong. I mean, like, the photo is tiny, so. Ooh, K-pop might be right. It might be HO scale. Yeah, it might be that, too, but. It might be 6 <laughs> scale, too. They've been going in lately. I don't know if it's too soon, but uh, Sideways Jesus. Yeah, there definitely is when COVID fucks off. Yep, jerks. Man, we are so shut down right now. It's painful. Check out this kit. 148 bucks. Oh, wow. I mean, this thing is serious, though. I don't know if I'd need to stud out some walls that, that crazy. <laughs> Who's Matt talking to? <laughs> Wifey. <laughs> Go deep. <laughs> I found a sharpie so, that she needed. <laughs> I was going to ask everyone uh, if you guys... Oh, K-pop, way ahead of you, bro. I, uh, I'm i trying to find the perfect barn to replicate like a barn find type barn. Because I want to do a drift missile barn. <sighs> I'm going to have to go through my YouTube history. <laughs> Sorry. I got laughed at so hard today. I was getting coffee in the kitchen and I had my phone and somebody saw me and they're like, what are you watching? And I was legit watching like Barnes of America. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find the like perfect decrepit barn and I can't find it. But uh, was it on like DIY network or just some random, random, random that you were watching? Yeah. Um, I, I was actually telling my father-in-law about it and he just like sent me a link to some random video from the internet and <laughs> was watching it. So he's like, there's one for barns. There's one for like lighthouses. There's one for all kinds of like random things, train oh, depots cool. and stuff. Yeah. But like the one that I'm thinking would be like, um in colorado a lot of people's out outdoor barns and stuff are like three side barns so they have like a roof one side and then like a wall on the other sides but like the garage door isn't necessarily like a closable door it's just like open so i was thinking about making something diorama like that and then just have it be like you know full of weeds and brush and trash and barrels and all kinds of just like junk inside the barn with it and then just have like the car under i don't know barn find like it something like that but then i also got that idea i want to do the strip mall so i'm gonna i'm gonna start on both of them because i got some scraps from work uh to make the bases on and then i got a bunch of trim to cut down i on the table saw this weekend what up what 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 yep and like the little slivers that we were making on accident at work by having to like rip some boards down i'm looking at this stuff and we're using like oak and whatnot and it's like this stuff is solid dude you could definitely like frame out a house with it or, you know, make a frame strong enough to like skin, make it look like an old barn. 
and I found some technique. This guy's using uh, white vinegar and um, uh, steel wool, and it like quick ages wood, makes it look oh. all old and gray. Wow. So we can build the frame out and then paint it with that stain and make it look all old again and make it, I don't know, just decrepit and aged. I got some big ass pieces of wood to start building stuff. I don't know what I want to build with it. I just got like two huge ass pieces of plywood. Hell yeah. I was going to build my ice cream truck, but I don't know. I really want to build a building too, so. Hey, Jordan, check this out. What you got for me? Oh, screen time. Give you the reveal. Bro. Told you I had it. Holy fizzle. Yeah. Told you I had it. <laughs> Damn. Meow meows. Meow meows. <laughs> Look, they got masks. I actually love fish and chips, bro, and salt and vinegar chips, so I don't mind the stank. It, it smells like, you know, some stank. Dying or something. <laughs> oh, look at that Chevy, son. Too bad it's broke. <laughs> Aren't most of them. <laughs> Is she masked up? What the fudge? They all are. Oh, no. When was this video posted? October 3rd, 2020. <laughs> Right. Makes sense now, doesn't it? <laughs> Damn. That's sick. Yo, if anyone out there has some like cool old barn pictures, I know that's super duper random, but uh tag me up in them, would you? For any kind of like old scenes like this. This is sick. See, like that's what I want to do right there, Matt, but just like the whole shed. Right. I, I understand, and that that's why I showed you this video. <laughs> Dude, the tin roof with it, though? God, that's yeah. tight. That's what it is. Because I'm going to try to see if people would just donate some, like, straight trash bodies that I could, like, cut up and just rust and make a little junkyard like this. A little salvage yard. Like the popped hood, broke down whips. Man, that's tight, Matt. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I will throw that the link to this video in the chat. Hell yeah. So. Oh, dude, that truck that's underneath our video right there that is one of my favorite build videos okay. of all time. No. The on the see the so cooler chat on the right. Oh, yes. That one. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> That's one of my favorite builds. We did like time. a whole episode on that. Uh, that I one. know. I know. It's just, it's still good. I can't, I can't help it. Yes. I don't know. Anyone else out there do any scale building? Throw some stuff up. I, I got some stuff coming from the Discord, guys. Hold on one second. All right. I'm, I'm working on it. How do I, yeah. how do I, how do I I'll figure this shit out. Anybody front lady XO? She just dropped some new food. RC Garage. I uh sorry, what's up, Randall? Oh no, nothing. I was just I'm trying to technology to you guys. I'm cool. <laughs> uh RC Garage, I like that brick wall, man. I, I would do something like that, but probably with some kind of mural on it or graffiti or something. We don't have a lot of clean big brick walls around us. Or it doesn't seem like we do. Yeah. Which uh which garage is that one, RC? Is that which box is it? I'm pretty sure that's a box one, right? Or did he make it? Where? Which one? Live show chat, right? Yeah. 
I'm pretty sure that's the associated oh. one. Oh, that's not the element box. That's for no. sure. I feel like it's a box, but I might be wrong. I think it's cool. Yeah. You can get away with a lot in these photos, like with a good print facade and then just do a few details to like trick the eye. You know what I mean? Like having mm -hmm. the real 3D little posts right there. The shading. Mm-hmm. And just being able to, like, even if you just put, like, the awning over the garage door to make it look 3D, you put a real, like, fire extinguisher on the wall right there would be pretty sick. Did something go there? Oh, I do this. Oh, I just discorded. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, hold up. Let me. Oh, are you, are you pulling it up, Matt? Atlanta. That's a yeah. Thing. This one's 10 scale. <laughs> no way. That's awesome. It says it's a box from a TV. I support that TV brand, man. Post the TV. Tell me what kind. Right. 1 to 10 world. Uh, yeah? Oh, dude, he did a torrent. No kidding. Look at that. Dude, what the hell? Here's an HO scale, like wooden garage. Incoming. It's like 30 minutes long, though. You gotta, like, fast forward and shit. Yeah, no, how you two be. Oh, I... Dude, just... Oh, God, it's so good. And is this... This is on wood, like MDF, yeah? And he's just, like, dremeling that? Mm-hmm. Holy cow. Sometimes they use, like, thin melamine and shit, too, sometimes. Like, but a lot of times it's, like, balsa... And uh, that would. Golly. Uh, this person is a crazy man, woman. I don't know. Yo, Sang. No, no jokes, bro. I'm pretty sure you said you're graduating this year. So before you like move away to college and become famous and stuff, you should come intern at Scale Science, bro. Videographer. We, could, we could use some talent like you have to help us accomplish some more things. Like making videos and watching things at TX. <laughs> oh, yo, I guess I could do that. Man, you guys. Dude, look at the dumpster, though. Fudge. What? Styrene. Some wood. Oh, Damn. Man. I'm looking for this one video that I really like. Oh, I found it. Oh, no, this is a new Ooh. one. This is a new one. Oh, it's decrepit. Oh, I'm sharing this. I haven't watched this one yet, but here we go. I'm putting it in the thing. It's one that we'll geek out about. Well, some of us will. Oh, my land. Dude, that canoe, too? <sighs> Surfboard? Dude needs to get out of here. Oh yeah, there we go. The oh, barn. There it is. The barn, son. Yeah, booty. Bingo. Wait, we need to not be doing that, right? Dude, hold up, hold up, hold up. Go back. Go back. Go back like ten seconds. A little more. A little more. Get ready to pause. The fire. Oh no. Back a little more, sorry. <laughs> Where the hell is it? Yes. Okay. One more. Yes, pause. Dude. Yo. Damn. That's what you want, huh? I want something like that. Mm -hmm. just, just like the old garage. Old that barn. Is crazy cool. Full of shit, you know? What's up, my baby? 
Damn, this guy does some sick building, man. Mm-hmm. And printing. Seriously. I feel like doing the mixture of things, you know, like the little jewelry chain is sick for like a hoist and then 3D printing a little engine block to be hoisting out of something or just hanging there or whatever, you know? Yeah. Like making little tanks and things. Welders. <laughs> the air compressor, that's tight. What? Like the little trash cans and everything. Come on. Ugh, oh, the chain link fence. So dope. Alright, this guy wins the internet today for me. Oh! He has arrived. What up, what up? Hey, if we get to the, my other one that I should got in Discord, you'll like something that I got in Discord. You especially. I was hoping you'd be here. Hey, buddy. I don't even know what a Discord is. <laughs> nah, well, no, I, get it on the I got it. I got it. Hold up. I figured I had a technology last week. Cool. I don't computer well. I don't phone well. Who either. does? Like... Not me. Uh, damn. I do a little bit. So. <laughs> That's freaking fire. Good share. Good share. Hey, thanks, Here's Randall. Randall's next share. Hero. Are you cutting bodies over there? going to say, I've seen a couple of them built, but this one looks really good. Man, I just had to change the weight today. Man. Change blades way too much, probably. For me? No, me. I do it like almost every every time I'm cutting something different. Yeah, I be going for blades like once a week, man. It's the same. Like I just changed the blade last Friday. I had to change the blade today. I'm like, man. Yep. Man. Need to get a exacto sponsor. Right. You need to be able to sharpen them again. <laughs> right? <laughs> I need to play with those nails. I was thinking the same thing, but. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I think you need a game of strong, son. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Is this the one? Did you say this one's 30 minutes? Oh, yeah, it is. Nah, How do I play it in 2x? Uh, 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 There's a settings button, a little gear. And it'll say play speed. Now it's a techno jam. All it needs is a heavy bass line, and we're go golden. It's it's some, like, upbeat house. Man, I don't... I actually like this song at 2x. <laughs> right? It's, a lot it's still better. good. I 
feel like we could slide to it. For sure. How do they expect you to mount these this wing? I don't know how this works. God, dude. This looks insane. Like sanding toothpicks? Are you kidding me? See, 64th is awesome, but like it's way too small for me. Like, I don't think I would have the patience. Right. Like, I feel old already. I just, I'm not, I'm not like finite enough with my touch to no. be good with it yet. I know more practice would help. Like, that's all I ever would need to do to make it better, but. Sure. I'm I sure I could too, I'm, but. I'm impatient as fuck. Like, I find it really calming. Until yeah. I get super glued to stuff. God. <laughs> <laughs> I get super glued to full size shit. I could only imagine on this type of stuff. <laughs> God, right? Is he making the awning right now? Get the fuck yeah. out of here. Look at that. See, I wouldn't even attempt that. No, this is so crazy. sick, though. I think it's cool to Maybe see. Maybe I need like... to grow my nails out more. <laughs> Maybe. It's probably like in New York, dude, where the fatter you are, the cooler you are. The brick. Oh, is he doing it with like a little chisel? Or was that with that e? was. I'm a cheat. I'm gonna just go buy some brick styrene. Well, I'm a cheat. Dude. Uh huh. That's straight exactly. up. Exactly. That's extra, yo. Matt, could you print like flat sheet facade stuff? In theory, it's possible. <laughs> oh my god that would be nuts <laughs> how's he not popping the gloves is what I'm wondering no shit what? be like uh, Catwoman on, on Batman dude when she just has like the talons come out the gloves <laughs> the razor talons I don't know. I you. I, I can live with the long nails on one finger because you always need a finger to pick your uh, scratch tickets with. Yeah, uh, I use it for ear grab, like ear, 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 ear <laughs> Ear scratchers. <laughs> Mine's for brain scratching for sure. Fuck uh, yo, I'd be afraid to stick that. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, if we'll go in there and poke your brain for you kidding me? Me? My <laughs> your ear is already scary enough. Like when like when my girl's out and my mom sees me like cleaning my ear, she's like, Are you serious? Ain't you afraid you're gonna poke your ears from? I'm like, nah. I see people <laughs> using it to dig for gold. I'm afraid them is gonna poke their brain. Like that's, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's another nail nail cocaine, yep. Helper. Or you could just get uh, one of the little shovels like McConaughey has in Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> Tootsie? <laughs> Tootsie? Or you can just go Scarface style and lay it on the counter. You know? <laughs> just dunk your face. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Dude, look at this thing. God. I think I think the like, detailing of things is probably one of my personal favorite parts. Like, building it is fun, but trying to make it look legit is like a whole nother challenge. Oh yeah. But like what he's doing here, I mean, just the attention to detail, you know? But like little techniques like putting the tape on and peeling it off. I've seen people do that to get like weathering clean clean weathering yeah. yeah oh man look at that How? I want to know like how is he not getting it in the freaking grout right 
He's just light brushing it over so it won't go in. Like, it'll just go over the top. It'll probably come back with the wash and wash that shit into the grout. Make it, like, more gray. Yeah. Now he's making it, like, sandy looking. Get out of here. Oh, these people. Yeah, that building wasn't new. <clears throat> Damn. Not ever. Not ever. <laughs> That thing always been a hundred years old. Not ever when we saw it. Yep. Oh, hey, where do I watch like extra stage and battle stage and That's all that? That's what I was gonna say. This fool acting like he alive and shit. He only been away. Hold on. No. I, I've seen the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. We have the best. And then in the same sentence, we're like, well, you know, wait a minute. I ain't as live as I am. Cool. All right. I'm going to go to the reveal on this guy real quick. I want to see the final product again. (coughs) I guess we kind of saw it already. It's crazy. Yo, I got a right. hand here. <laughs> Finally got one. Yeah, Andy. I was like, yeah, I got one. That's amazing. And it's made my life a lot easier. Hell yeah, man. Oh my gosh. Bruh. Oh, is that pubes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, oh look green at the pubes. No, there's they're black <laughs> on the balcony. Ugh. He also uses them for the bushes on the tree. <laughs> Legit bush bushes. Bush bush. That'll be another hashtag. Hashtag Bush Bush. Bush Bush. Man. I love that. That's sick, dude. That would that would make a really sick building at the track. Or a really cool like backdrop or facade for photos. <laughs> Andy. Ruben. Ruben, where you at? Bruh. I'll build the cars that are supposed to be out in front of it. I already got two of them. (laughs) Hell yeah, man. Randall's got another one. I put a heart on something. (laughs) Like an actual heart, though. I didn't know you could do that. (laughs) Putting like a heart emoji, I put like a heart, heart, like a heart. Like well, the one we're that gonna, pumps we're blood. just gonna double say it all tonight, you know? Bush, bush, heart, heart. Heart, heart. You know, you gotta emphasize. You know, it ain't real, real unless you like emphasize, emphasize, you know? No? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also hear that's what it sounds like when you're having a stroke, or that's what the world <laughs> sounds like when you're having a stroke. <laughs> And I also hear you smell burnt toast, so burnt toast. cheers to breakfast. Yeah, that's a weird one. Oh, the HPI body showed up yesterday. I got two old Mustangs looking for uh, some kind of project. So I was going to say... Our poll for the missile build off is going really well. We got, I think, 55, yeah, 55 responses or 55 votes so far. So if you guys have not voted yet, please do. The link is all over our Facebook page. And if anyone needs it, I'll send it again here. Watch the video, it's in our YouTube. And then the description has the link to vote. Oddly enough, I'm going to take this opportunity to talk a little bit of shit to everybody that uh, probably didn't know this, but I can see what you voted for. 
and all y'all hoes voting for yourself. Ooh, bless those. I should I should take those votes away from you guys. Tisk tisk tisk. But in all reality, I'm just kidding. I'm excited that we got 55 people that voted for the missile build off. It's pretty uh pretty tight race so far. Things are looking interesting, and nobody's out yet. So, <sighs> hashtag, I'm gonna win. Burp. Sorry. Hashtag blah. 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 Said his name was Ralph. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, saying the the like classic RTR Mustang one. Andy, they want to know what body you're doing, man. Uh, Addiction 180 SX. 15,000 oh. pieces. <laughs> Is that the one for Steven? Yeah. Hang on. There's more. But wait. There's more. You have to build every panel separately. And then there's a wide body kit that goes over that. Man. So I got my work cut out for me on this one. This is going to be dope. And then I need that white paint from you, Jordan, if you have it. Because I'm almost white done with paint. this guy. Snaps. Yeah. Oh, my. We're going to have all these food-flavored Doritos around the track. Watermelon. Dude. So cooler. White paint. You're going to do it so great. Yo, are you coming up tomorrow for yeah. an hour still? Yeah, I'll be there for an hour or two tomorrow. Don't forget your computer. I need no, it. I'll bring it. <laughs> I got... Uh, I'm going to grab your white paint now so I don't forget the MC1 is missing uh, one other thing, too, that I have, unless you have one. It's just the pin for, like, the back of the spur gear. I probably have one. If not, I can bring this one. How much white do you need? Like half a can, probably, if not a little bit more. I probably have – this is probably, like, half to three quarters of a can and this is about a quarter of a can so i'll just bring a bowl okay All my RC stuff. Okay? sorry what up sorry <laughs> he was okay he looked broken <laughs> good um i can bring my hard drive tomorrow instead of just sending the crap tonight I'll put it somewhere I'll remember it. Hell yeah. Oh, all right. So tomorrow we are going to uh, try and film some stuff for you guys. Dealing with alignment and some setup things and also go through some of the setups that we're going to be talking about. And then finally, if we get to it, possibly some D5 updates. Stuff. I don't know, like in the D5 world, I feel like I'm behind the eight ball with everyone. It's already got like their high motor mounts and carbon fiber this and blah, blah, blah. I are... Yeah, and people are getting rid of the... The uh, cantilever suspension setups and all kinds of stuff. And I don't know, like, I guess I want to try one just to see if it is better. Everyone's saying it feels better than the stock, but stock to me feels pretty good. It's a little bit sluggish, I guess, to transition. That would be my only complaint if I had one. But as far as drivability on it, man, I mean, God. It gets laps. So I don't know. What would you what would you do to your D five, Randall, if you could change anything on it? 
so far. I put a whole bunch of weight in the front, like on carpet. It worked good, but then when I was testing it out last week, like it didn't do good on the carpet. Yeah. I wanted to push it. I wanted to act like it did on carpet with no weight, with weight on the top. But that makes hmm. sense. No weight on carpet, the front push. Weight on carpet, it acted good. Weight on P tile, that shit just pushed. Like, <laughs> and the diff, diff, diff's leaking, so you know. <laughs> that goddamn diff. <laughs> uh, like, I'm glad I. Ooh. I'm glad I had the drive pin problem. Plenty just taped that pins. shit in there. <laughs> like the, the main one that was super hyped for the D5, and like it's giving me nothing but problems since day one. So I mean, like I I ain't gonna say I'm salty at it. I'm just like that's to be expected with the Kura. I'm pretty sure once I get all the problems ironed out, I'll be good. Because like I said, I've driven Max and it was awesome. When mine was acting okay, like I was like, oh, this is cool. So I mean, I need to give it some time. I need I need to iron out some things. Sure. Probably just gonna lock the diff. If, like, if I did mush the little gasket thing and it won't work the other way, I'm probably just something. I got a poxy buddy. Don't have an extra uh, gasket, so you know. yeah. I mean, that's. I don't know. It's it's what you got, right? I mean, I guess I could wait to get a new thing, but. I'm tired of waiting. I want to drive the damn thing. Everyone else had theirs and had fun, and I'm still like, yeah, here's mine. It looks cool. It doesn't fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay. I saw it here. Jimmy's asking, it gets laps, but does it get doors? <laughs> I, I, I ain't trying to like toot my own arm here, but this is, this is my D5 on what some would argue is like the most slippery surface you will drive on. His does, if, mine doesn't. If I was gonna say, if I hadn't driven with Jordan's D5, seen it driving, I would throw it more hate than I do. Because it does yeah, really well for not modding anything. If I haven't seen his or driven Max, I'd have been. Max like, is really good too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is, man. It's it's like with very, I mean, I put shims in my car. I've told everyone this a hundred times, you know, and I'll preach that until I find something that feels better. <laughs> but like, so Jimmy, I'm in the tiger striped car here and you can't see it the whole time, but and that's me in the camera car. And Andy's chasing me. Andy, what car is this that you're chasing me in? Uh, YD2SX with an R conversion. Okay. And keep in mind, Andy's car is running a GoPro on top of it as well right now. But I mean, for me, it was, it would transition. I just had to use the throttle to do it. It's different than in like a mid motor car where I could like, I could get it to transition a lot better from steering input thing too i noticed last week is like i gotta drive it differently but i haven't driven it that much so last week after i was getting a few laps i started doing good and like learning how to drive it and then the diff started leaking again so yep i stopped driving it <laughs> so uh we didn't really get to explain the cars in this but PJ is chasing. I believe he is in a similar setup to what Andy was driving, and he's, he's chasing an SX2, yeah, but not rear yeah. motor. Not rear is motor. That, That's the MC1 in front of him. That was the Trax MC1, right? Yep. No, it, they they were working on it that night when we got to try a couple of them out. This is one of their customers' cars, though, uh, if I remember right. What's that? I can't remember the purple GTR up here. That's a uh, MC1. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, Dude, it it was like for from a tuning standpoint, it was so different than anything I'd ever driven where to get it sideways like you had to be smashing the throttle. Like this thing it it had so much grip that you had to just be 
worked so hard on it with the gas just to keep it sideways like that. So it just felt very predictable and very smooth and, and I don't know, you could control it really nicely. Oh, you see the BMW there on the road trip? That's cool. <laughs> Park. I know that guy. <laughs> Yo, and then uh, sub shout out on the music. Every song in this video is all my homies from here in Denver. I was going to say, I noticed on the first song they were singing about Denver. I'm like, who is this? Yeah, man. Who is it's, this? Uh, the first couple tracks in this are uh, a dude named Mike. Uh, it's like M double I K E. And not to be confused with another mic, he did something else to change it, like differentiate himself. And then the dude on this track's name is Noose. Another one of my homies. Man. So, yeah, okay, here's another one. Uh, I forget what Rob was driving, but this is me, PJ, and... Yeah, and Rob from there. Or not Rob. Uh... I oh, his God. Name. I want to forget Ron? his name now. Ron, Ron, thank you. Ron, that's it. Oh, the the wind god is, is Juan. Yes. No, we're talking Silver about and blue that. is Ron. Yeah. Yes. Right, right. Uh, that's the Chrome YD2. Yep. I'm not sure if it's rear motor, but I think it's just an SX3. It's and like PJ up. and him, I mean, look at them just getting doors, man. Killing it. PJ, I'm really surprised how good PJ can drive with people for not having a home track. I know, dude. Like for driving by himself. So, I mean, he's an awesome driver. And he yes. travels a lot, but like he's not banging doors every Friday like we are. No, it, it was really right. fun to see, like, uh, I'm meeting PJ in uh, <coughs> Vegas, and he just showed up and was like, yo, saw everyone was coming out here, so I bought a ticket and flew out here, and here I am. Well, that's and, like, uh, what's his name? The dude shattered his leg. Dude yeah. punched me in the face with a seat. <laughs> yeah. Bradley. Bradley. Mucho gusto, me amo Bradley. Yes. Oh my God, Bradley. I. Oh my God. I forget. I forget that dude. I forgot that he punched Matt in the face with the seat, though. That was punched him. I felt so bad. I didn't mean to laugh, Matt. I'm sorry. I know you were like so fucking. Just we were all exhausted at that point, and that was the last thing that you needed to happen. And yeah, I was. I was, the seat. I was too dead to be mad. Oh. Wake him up, yo. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I know, you can see it in that face though. He was just like, if he said anything about it at that moment, like Matt would have murdered him on the spot. Yeah, <laughs> he was, he was oh. just like so ready to snap, but he was just like, I know I'm just tired. I don't want to be mad at anybody about this right that now. I don't mean to say. Yeah, I don't even know <laughs> this dude. Like, if this dude tries to like come back up in here, and like if he even right. touches that seat, I'm he's dead. On the spot. Yeah, it was it was a stressful moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, good times, good times. All right, so we said it earlier, but I'm gonna say it again. If you're not excited, shame on you. Here. God, I am messing up so hard tonight. <laughs> hey, five hi. Very nice. Are All right, going, let's try. Are we going to Arizona week. next week or what? Yeah, the 19th, they're having another party. Let's go. Yeah, I need some. I'm down. Me too. I need slides, dude, with the track being closed. I'm going fucking crazy. I need to crash on someone's couch this time, though, if I'm going. Right? <laughs> You can sleep in the van, bro. I'm down. <laughs> It'll probably be a nice, you know, 60 degrees. All right, my bad. Let's try it again. One, two. Careful, it's the. All 
All right. You camp when it's 30. I, I'm sorry. I cut you off. It's all good. <laughs> I didn't cut you off. This thing cut you off. It mutes you. Rude video. I know. It's at 30, bro. Buttholes. So cooler. You so done with yours yet? He took it out of the bag. Hey. Good job, Matt. Good job, Matt. <laughs> Kind of parts and pieces. Oh, yeah, he literally took it out of the bag. Nothing's cut yet. No, oh, I'm give, it, give it to me. I'll have it done next week. Oh, he because... trimmed. He trimmed the body. Yeah. All right. I'm slowly working on it. Damn it! I ate them already. I I had some cookies for you, Matt, but I ate them. Oh, I like cookies. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, since we last spoke. Or some oh, terrible gosh. line like that. We've missed out on roughly 1,500 so cooler hashtag posts. So we are going to do our best to cruise through a good number of them tonight. We'll catch up over the next few weeks. So sorry that we haven't been able to log on and show you guys love for the tags. And blown away that everyone's tagging up so cooler as much as they are. Like if you scroll the hashtag... Literally no nonsense. Everybody is posting dope RC stuff on this hashtag. It is badass to check out. So if you're not or haven't, do it. Subscribe to it. Tag it up. But don't tag it up with any BS. Keep it RC. And keep it so cooler. Always. And I can't forget to hit the little hearts on everybody's stuff tonight. What do we got? Another little trike going down. Ooh. Dude, I want to check Mike's out more with his freaking RR <laughs> layout on it. Looks crazy. Right. Hey, look at that windshield banner and the window stickers. Yo. Cole looking sick, bud. <laughs> Dude, everybody likes that license plate. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You Mr. Jordan, so that was a good one, bro. I'm not talking to myself, people. I'm talking to another Jordan. Damn. This is the DeLorean build. Ooh. All right. Yes. I've been itching to see his progress. Look at the carbon ducks on it, dude. I didn't see those before either. That engine is looking ridiculous. The complained intake and shit. Sick. That looks like one that's going to accept boost. <laughs> All the turbos. Oh, what do we got here? Little thingy? <laughs> Replicated the rear diff case. Are these minis? Oh, yeah. Dude, what? Looking good. Looking good. <laughs> so curious, sir. I need a. Look at that freaking motor mouth, though. Man. Yeah. I think that's a motor mount. Yeah. All kinds of just... There's something to do with a rubber band. Oh, what? Oh, no So you can way. put the weight up all forward and run it on a belt? <laughs> that's pretty Why, sick, dude. dude. Put a body on it. I mean, it would sit in the cab. I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. This... I'm being judgy. I know. Dang. I ain't even finished building his body yet. You're gonna talk about judging me. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt, I think you struck a nerve. No, I was just you saying, I don't think it would fit. Your body first. You actually finish the body for you pass judgment on others, yo. You can't, you can't, you haven't reached that level yet. <laughs> You haven't earned your stripes. <laughs> is it Boy Scouts or is it Stripes? Is that a JDM cookie? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Put it back over here. 
What are you eating? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> JDM cookies, son. Is that, is that a Christmas wreath? Is it a wreath? Mm-hmm. No, it's just one of. Is it like green icing? Yep. The sugar cookies. I, the tree. I thought you had a wreath. Oh, damn. Man. <laughs> This is pretty tight. Pretty tight Photoshop for sure. Mm -hmm. It actually looks pretty real, but nah. Find the body post. <laughs> There's body post real. in the picture. Real or RC, both. <laughs> right? I I actually did want to say that today. Both. So Craft Hub was up in here earlier in the in the comments, man. This is his new uh, camera gimbal rig. Oh what? Christmas tree cookies. Oh. <laughs> I really uh, I like the filming forward aspect. We've never really been able to do that that well. Mm -hmm. And it looks. Honestly, it's pretty smooth for an FPV cam, to be completely honest. Sure. Like, the quality looks nice. Everyone, uh, go sub to Craft Hub on Insta. Give them some love. There we go. Marrow gang. Wow. Knocks the dust off, huh? Hey, where do I know that paint job from? Mm. Right. I know for a split second I was like, well, who's this? Oh. <laughs> yeah. like, Who painted like, their body I wrong? wrong? I had that thought too. Hell yeah. What's that? that Dude, I feel like right there. I feel like High Slide's track is getting doper every week. I would drive on it. Who wouldn't? Right? Um, heck yeah. Damn, look at those tires. Scorched. Oh, what? Hold up. Did you see that setup? I didn't, it didn't dawn on me. Is FPV it? cam. Oh, that's what's up. But oh, I yeah, think yeah. it's I think it's hooked to the back of the servo arm, so that it's swinging the camera. Oh, cool. that's pretty smart. That's legit. There's a binder clip involved. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Where is go it? back a picture. Onto it. Yeah, go back a picture. That's what's up. It is a binder clip. Oh, wow. It's a binder clip on a stick. <laughs> involved. Hold on. That's pretty tight, <laughs> man. Hey, ingenuity, right? Hey. Hey. Yeah. Okay, hey. That is awesome. Man. Yeah, Randall. Why does that look familiar? Man, I'm happy with how it came out. That came out tight. Yeah. It with my other ones, because I'm like, that's my RC car, yo. Oh. And then somehow, oh, yeah. Look, somebody said I should make the little controller, and I was like, yo, yep. I'm gonna have to. Do that. I think it was saying that said it actually. Maybe wrong. It's going to take us forever to get through 500 freaking posts. Oh, yeah. Damn, the old school DCs. Yeah, you better go a little faster and stop on huh. e stuff. Jordan's new saw. <laughs> Hell yeah, Randall. More, more mangas. Heck yeah. Special mangas. 
These were for RC garage. What what? Yeah, dude. The the arrow like the body kits and stuff are just they're getting good. I, and like I, I really like the wing stays on on this guy. Yeah, I like that one. I like the whole body kit on that one. It's like boxy, and then I gave it the gooseneck. I've always wanted to try to make a gooseneck, but it's not like a gooseneck. Gooseneck. I don't know. I don't like the right. one that holds it like where the wings from the top. Yeah, for some reason, shouldn't hold on the top. Sit right with me. So yeah, I made it like that. That's cool. I'm like gonna... that, and still holds it from below. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Damn, I like these spoilers cool. though, man. They they make it look just like so aggressive. But it. Cars, yeah. Well, and like the pipes too. I like the changes up. Like th this one has the rear pipes, and this one has the freaking screamers. Dude, when are you gonna try to make some like lightning bolt screamers or something crazy? Uh, I tried on this one. It pissed me off. Yeah. I'm wondering, would that be something maybe that we could try 3D printing? Like, I was going to try again, like, with the bigger on, like, pin scale, because it's, like, 45-degree cut. You got to make them right, and then, like, I don't know, I'm just not. Like, I'm not like, math well, so I cut things wrong. I just got to measure twice, cut once, twice, two. Download the 40% off coupon for Hobby Lobby. Hit up you Hobby know, Lobby. Download the coupon bullshit, man. This lady in Michael is on me with that. <laughs> Dude, these shears, I got them at Hobby Lobby. Ooh. They have angles built into it, and you literally just click it, and it holds, and then you can just snip snap either direction. It's got a nice fence in here to like mount it nice and flat and flush, so you get clean angles every single time, and they butt right up, and you can do... you can. Basically, just I'll put like a calculator on my phone for specific things that you want to do. Like you want to make a 90, you want to make whatever types of designs like stars and stuff. And they'll tell you like you need to cut them all at 68 degrees or whatever. And then you can snip all of them and make cool like patterns and stars and designs and different stuff. So they were 25 bucks before the coupon. Yeah, so I've been trying like the lightning because that's like the easiest of the designs that I want to make. Like, I can try burning them and like, like you know, like the, the melting them. I tried, I tried to make a jig, but visually I couldn't figure it out, so the jig didn't work. I just, I just scratched that idea and just kept trying to do other stuff, and I just got mad and I just stuck with straight pipes because I was going to add a little material too. Hell yeah, did it. It looks sick, though, man. I like it. Hopefully, RC Garage likes it. Oh, yeah. He seems happy. Uh, God. Damn. Wow. I'm a sucker for a Hemi. Drag racing. So dope. Oof. This is that gimbal. Wow. Pretty intense. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, she's hefty, Jesus. FPV and a GoPro? Yep. Sick. So I think it'd be sick because the FPV, you could be looking at what you're seeing. I mean, realistically, you could do that with the GoPro on YouTube, <coughs> too. Oh, but... Yeah. Heck yeah. It's a high-end gimbal, bro. With that Rev-D servo. Yo. What the fudge? Dang it. Now I gotta go find. Oh, that wasn't that bad. 
Hey! This guy. Damn, that was the start of the Locos, huh? Yeah. Sign. I had to, like, squeeze it in, in between. I got a whole bunch of my Hot Wheels that I want to work on, but I, I can't right now. I got other important ones to do. You getting projects to work on? Yeah, I'm trying to build this dude's Miata right now, and it's all like, goddamn, like, when he hit me up about the Miata, he was like, okay, I'd like a Miata, and I was like, that's funny, because I'm prototyping and working on a Miata. If it's fire, you'll be the first one to grab it. So then in my head, though, I'm like, damn, I ain't even going to get my Miata yet. Like, damn, my Miata is going to go away. <laughs> <laughs> But if it works, it's going to be sick. I'll know how to make them now. Damn, that was tight. It's a good-looking good looking crew there, fellas. Yeah, I was, uh... Damn. Those louvers look fire. <laughs> Got an oil leak. Hey, problems, you know. Right? Takumi knows about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Usakani is what had pretty pink tires. Nice. I need some of those pink tires. 3D printed, aren't they? They're probably. <clears throat> probably yeah. what? Yes, racing. I know back like when I first met these fools, like that's what every like fan in them. They had a whole bunch of colored wheels and they were colored tires, and they were all uh, DS racing. They had oh. the pink, the green, the white, something else, and they were all DS racing. Hmm. Oh, I got mad work to do. Me too. Oh, this is a killer clip. Wow. Boop. That wing, though. I feel like your wings are his spirit animal, Randall. Oh. I mean that body roll too. Yeah, dude. If you ever have you ever watched their videos, Matt? Uh, no. Apparently not. High slideway. Yeah, no. I'm not. They slide I'm... out in like a parking garage, and it has a ton of grip. Oh, crazy. So they like watch them rip in these laps. And this reminds me of E Team Hobby Flex when we were out there. Yeah. That was such Dusty like, as a hell. weird day turned so awesome. Like <laughs> they have this super like thousands of dollar track and then we're out back having fun on a dusty ass concrete floor, like You're right. <laughs> And it was funny the way we came across. Like, we were, like, trying to not be depressed about their track. And then we saw this open spot in the back. We're like, hey, what's up with that concrete back there? Can we, <laughs> right? can, can we go back there and slide? And he's like, you mean in the shop? I'm like, yeah. Can we go back there? Like, we can get down back there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, backwards. Oh. My goodness. This is so I was thinking about that. When you go when you go forward after you get done liking shit up. This is so this is I, I wanted to like talk. Maybe not talk, maybe you can go into that on some other thing, but I wanted to ask about that since you know, I don't use the liquid mask and I can't find like the big ass Parma fast color masking sheet anymore. It's like a big ass sheet of masking paper. 
Is that what you okay. guys are doing? Because I saw somebody here in the So Cooler thing. Like, you're just, like, taping the whole body up and then basically doing what you would do with Liquid Mask. Because it's a lot of things. I mean, you'd have to do it with, like, a, a sticker of it Cause if see, you like, weren't going to Liquid Mask. See, watch. When you go back to the So Cooler thing, I think that was in the So Cooler thing, or maybe it was on something else. Somebody had a hood mask off. With uh, stars on it. Did we already pass it? Uh, I, 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 could I see the rock, rock? Probably. I don't know. Maybe it must have been on their page. Must have been on the other guy's page you were looking at. Oh. All right. I've, t- I've taped like plastic bags instead of taping the whole body. Mm-hmm. Like tape a line like right here. And then have plastic all below it, but just make sure that, I mean, no paint is going to get in there. Not like that. Yeah, I know that, but like, like, uh. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but like, instead of like doing the whole body, you could do just like your one little spot that you're going to like cut your star out or whatever you're going to do. It's for this hood right here. It was on high slideaways. Yeah, and this blue car is like for that Mustang hood. It was a bunch of different uh, strips of tape on it. Yeah. And I think he painted the outside. Uh. See? That's... Alright. That's, so that's what y'all are doing. That's what I'm going to have to do. Instead of like... That's a good idea. It, I mean, yeah, see, I've done it before. Just make man. sure you got a super sharp blade when you're doing it. Yep, yep. I've done it before. I just, um, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of tape. Yep. That's how I did the hood. That's how I did the roof of the uh, the Impala. I just masked it all off and then drew the design on it and cut that out. And went through like half a roll of tape. See, the stars on this one, I just put star stickers. Yep. Oh gosh. And they're all a different color. Mm-hmm. Oh man, you need to get out. <laughs> that thing is so cooler. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one's interesting because it's the flip side. Like they're doing it for outside painting. Yeah. So I don't know, like. For me, Randall, I I run into where tape does not like the inside curves as much as the outside curves, in my opinion. Like on a body, not at all. it's it's so much easier to mask the outside than it is the inside, especially with like getting your fingers in there and like burnishing everything so it's like stuck and it isn't going to leak and it's in all of the little nooks and crannies of door lines and everything else like... Yeah, yeah. It's definitely I don't know, tricky. I when I see the people that do the whole entire body, I'm just like that I'm honestly Im- impressed. <laughs> Cuz I know that shit ain't easy. Not easy at all. Like at that rate it's almost easier to liquid mask as crazy as that sounds. Right. Like I said, I use a liquid mask on almost everything. Yeah, like some Oracle vinyl. Yeah, it's uh, you know, like the the same mask that I gave you guys for the team build off the blue lightning bolt. That's exactly what it is. See, because I I I ran into someone at Michael's, but I couldn't get a hold of Sid that day to see if that was the right stuff. So the stuff that they sell in the store usually is orange. This is this is the like light stick stuff for cricket that they sell at like Hobby Lobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can cut that. It's the same thing. It's just it's like the light tack. Um, that way you can peel it off like the adhesive doesn't stick to whatever you stick it to. So is that made by Oracle or is that made by somebody else? This is called the Paper Studio. That's the brand that makes the stuff for the cricket. But Oracle. Oracle is just another brand that makes it, and you can buy it like wholesale online. Yeah, like at Michael's, they had like the uh, the, the cricket stuff on this side, and then uh, 
Oracle on this side, and they had some of that stuff, and it was like a like smoked glass kind of look color, you know, like that uh-huh. glass color. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's what's up. Oh, yeah. Easier. I'll just start printing my lot deliveries out on my uh, plotter, and then yeah, right. masking, aggravating. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no shit. You could even cut out tiny shit. Hmm? You could even cut out tiny shit. Oh, yeah. Cool. Like, I can't... There he goes. Seizure. Oh. Hey, everybody. Welcome Hi, back. Randall. Bring something cool with you. <laughs> show, me, show us something cool we've, we've never seen. Yo, so check out check out the box that they were saying the TV came in. Yeah. What? Maybe they just mounted like the pictures in a box. Yeah. Oh golly, that's crazy cool. Man. <sighs> We definitely we need some scapes like this at the track, bros. I want like a cool place people could take their picture. I mean, Ruben, got, uh, got the element garage. Hell yeah, we should do it. Do it. Oh, shout out JD's Drift House. He scooped up a fat care pack from Squad Locker. Got himself some customized scale science swag. That's Sick. Thanks for the support, bro. Yeah. yeah. All right. God. Why do I love this freaking car so much? Love that color combo. And that color combo. 420. Bang. Oof. Double oof. Yowza. Mm. I need an Aristo now. That settles it. Oh, what's Randall got here? I have little stars that pissed me off today. Oh, man. Ooh. They look they nice, made. though. Come on, focus. See, they bled a little bit. Like, that's oh, why I uh... was with, with tape. Like, like, me and Steve were talking about like, the first pass is good, and then it bleeds a little bit. The rest is secret. Y'all see the rest later. <laughs> the rest is secret. <laughs> oh, I know what that is. All right. Yo, so on some of the ones that I was doing, Randall, the uh, I would put the sticker or I would put like my shape on the outside of the body mm-hmm. and liquid mask it. And then I'd use the shape on the outside to like make my trace cuts. If it was simple shapes like stars and stuff like that. That's what I do like. I draw, I draw everything on the outside of the body, and I tape the masking off on the inside, and then I hold it up to the light. I trace that on the masking, then I cut it out. But it's like once you like lay a pass down with the paint with the tape, like it loses tack, and the ends kind of curl up a little bit, and then anything after that it bleeds some because I don't like you don't I don't want to lay it down and retape it every time. Yeah. And so it's Makes like, sense. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you're ever gonna get away from it, honestly, unless it's like changing. Maybe the um, like cure process on it, because like the the stuff that you're gonna spray out of your cans is always gonna weaken that tape line, unless you can like bake it back to where it at least will like hold rigidity. Um. Like once you paint on it again, you know what I mean. Like if you bake that paint or flash cure that paint, mm-hmm. like it's hard enough to where it wouldn't like flex from you dropping more paint on it. 
necessarily. Whereas like when it's like paper tape, it like gets wet and it like starts to curl on the ends. Yeah, so then I, well, that's what I use. I'm masking wet paper tape. So we're going to try that Oracle and hopefully we can do better than the paper tape. Yeah. Oh. Are, on the paper tape, are you using like the Tamiya stuff or what kind are you using? Scotch. Scotch. Like blue painter's tape? Yeah, mix of the blue painter's tape and then like the uh, thinner thinner white roll for thinner line. Okay. Hell yeah. Like two inch painter's tape and then like the one inch little, little one. Okay. Because I know on the blue painter's tape, man, the edges on all of them suck. Mm-hmm. I've had really good look, luck on the edges with, it's still not perfect, but the yellow frog tape. Yeah. It, remi- it reminds me of Tamiya tape, but it's a little stickier. Yeah. Does it come in like the two-inch roll? No. Well, yeah. They're big, fat rolls. That's what's up. Yeah, the Tamiyas, man, I'm, I don't know. That would be, it would be worth it to become a vendor just so we could get their fucking tape. Cause they, I didn't realize it. Like I found one of their online catalogs. They sell the tape in like fourteen different thicknesses or some god awful number. Oh, yeah. So you can literally get it from like hairline. Like how do you even stick the shit to? I don't know. Probably like three Throw inches. Out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, man. Get the claws out, right? I got some of that shitty tester tape around here somewhere. Not a fan of the tester tape. But I don't rinse those clean. Why are they popping up all everywhere all of a sudden, man? Damn. Because they're sick? I know. Everyone else finally just figured it out. Yo, Randall, Sang's asking you if you got some new sticks. I mean, I can have some. I don't have any top, like, max, like, backing paper. Once I get to the backing paper, we're in business. No, uh, drumsticks, bro. Oh. I got plenty of sticks, yo. Uh, look at that <laughs> shout out. Yeah. Dude, look at the freaking flake in that. Oh, wow. Damn. Dude, are we going to be able to get any of these in since like, HPI bodies are back in style? Dude, I hope they'll pop some of their old like 90s truck bodies from the old like RF4 uh, nitros. I had a blue one of these. I had a, one of these Silverado <clears throat> back in the day. Like, man, wasn't this cool though? It was just blue, just blue, bruh, just blue, bruh. Damn. Oh my god! Look at the hard top. So he cut it off of a lotus. Oh. Okay. I dig it. Frank and body. Yeah, no, well, uh, I know we've talked about this one again, too. The spoon hardtop for the S2 is, like, that's the mod. If you had an S2, that's what you wanted to get was the spoon hardtop. Mm-hmm. And this is, like, the closest I've ever seen it come. And it looks like it actually fits pretty damn good. There's a... There's a little hairline gap back here on the back, and it looks like a hairline gap up on the roof. But I mean, come on, I like it. I mean, actually, the roof line looks pretty damn good. I do say. Uh. I do declare. Oh, look, at there's another option. For the LED taillights. Okay. 
paint the shit black and then put some. I don't know if you guys can see this on your phones. See the little dots? Oh. <laughs> if you need to go run and grab glasses, I understand. My ass is blind. I got my monocle in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bruh. I'm so rich, I need two monocles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> we have uh, we had cool lives growing up. Cool. We're... <laughs> Dude, so I got to admit, in the the two like tests on the track. I thought the tile pattern was going to bug me more than it does. Like it, it's actually easier to like tune it out or like kind of zone it out than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be It's not like, bad until Steve's driving his super body and then you can't see him. <laughs> He's always like half on each tile. I, and I literally it. like full speed, wham, right into him. I just couldn't. Yep. He was half on the blue on his blue side and half on the white on his white side and just no blue and white paint All right. on your shells unless you put like <laughs> a red roof or something <laughs> gotta have those lights just you know, white and blue so we'll see what happens <laughs> I dig it man what? Why did my screen get all tiny? What the hell? Oh, wow. How am I supposed to mount this spoiler? Like... On the car. Well, there's no, like, thing to mount it. What you mean? Like, I'm, like... Oh, let me... Like this one? Like this window spoiler? Yeah. Yeah. How do you make that go on? I guess BMW spoiler. It comes right. with this. It's a little mounting piece. But where is that? Oh, is that? Hold up. Is that what this is? I haven't cut it out yet, but it's a little angle. So you stick it on the windshield, and then this mounts on there underneath it, and then it's hidden behind it with double-sided tape on everything. Well, like, that ain't what this is. So there's one part. There's <coughs> two options for the wing, right? Or, I don't know. I can't see for sure what that is. 20 minutes late, sorry. Sharpie the lines in. Oh, what's a line? Oh, Dude, no just, line just run it. it. Matt, just run it like Lexan thin and make it look Is that like, like an old runner. ghetto like HPI wing that's just like a generic whoop, swoop shape? Um, No, it's <laughs> like the, the M3 there's wing. No, you said there's no lines on it to cut out. Like, oh, well, there is. Okay. <laughs> but like, I don't know how it should go on the body. I couldn't tell you without seeing it a little better. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Should have bought an RX-7. Sounds about right. I think I can care. <laughs> I can care. I might want to drive the thing. But why? It's an RC car. Yeah, you're right. Should... Oh, Ruben. Randall drives his every week. Yep. Every day. Almost every day, pretty much. I haven't. I didn't really go nowhere this week, though. Ooh. I, I think I went out like twice this week. But I mean, I drove an RX-7, so. There you go. I don't know every week. <laughs> Shoot, I hit, ain't even sat in one in years. Uh, <clears throat> 
Is that a Supra? That's a good one. That's a good one. Get this Lincoln out of here. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. The Celica Supra. Trees are popping up everywhere now again, too. Like, uh, I kind of want to make another one. Oh, hey, that's Scale Science. I know those guys. The, the, that's actually at an undetermined those location. Those might be you. With yeah, undisclosed drivers. On an undisclosed date. <laughs> That definitely was undisclosed and definitely in 2019. Discreet. Uh. Body post on that shit has got to be old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. I've been seeing the stupid freaking memes talking shit on body post again. Matter of fact, the, the, I forgot. I didn't even get into my rant last week. So you mean to tell me the same guys out here talking about body posts aren't scary, body posts are y'all the same guys out here like gluing and taping fender flares on, y'all ain't using screws? Shut the fuck up, please. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so we, we go outside and we glue our fender flares on our cars. Yeah. Yeah. That's really scale, guys. I mean, some people do. I know. I double sided like tape all out. my door trims on. I mean, that's how they're done from the factory, though, on door trims and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're talking about, like, I'm just seeing, like, a lot of these guys asking in the thing, like, how do I do this? How do I do that? And, like, one of them was, how do I mount fender flares? And the amount of these dudes saying, you just use some uh, double sided tape, just use sugar, just do that. These are the same kind of dudes talking about body posts saying, yeah, you gotta look real, you gotta look real. Also, the same kind of dudes that don't have interior in their car. So, you know, damn. No interior I mean, you're gluing and taping your finger flares on, but you're mad that people run body posts. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> My shit got interior. My shit got, you know, right. uh, all the other stuff. It just has body posts, and that's what you're choosing, like, to... And I'm not even a body post fan, but I'll give you this one. When you crash your car, your body don't fly off your real car. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, real... I mean, on the scale aspect, I'm sorry, but real cars usually have 6 to 12 body mounts. It just... I mean, yes, they don't poke through the hood most of the time, but they still have body mounts, like... The other thing that gripes me on the scale thing is like, are they just saying the look of it needs to be scale or the whole car needs to be scale? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and I don't know. I guess at the end of the day, like, we're playing up with until, toys. yeah, no, yeah. I mean, and even up until the last couple of years, like when I've really started taking the scale aspect more serious, like trying to make my car look more realistic. I mean, it took me six years and my car doesn't have to look real to enjoy it, you know? And I mean, it looks real enough, you know? I mean, maybe you didn't build your car to take pictures to make it look real or anything, you know? You're like, I'm playing with an RC car. I want want people to know it's an RC car. I don't want them to think it's real, you know? I want them to come down to my track. (laughs) Exactly. Like, just let people have fun. Like, Like that meme that has, like, the dude, like, getting mad at everybody and the guy's hand slowly creeps in. Just flipping him off and puts him in the face, and it's just like, let people have fun. K R C D F. <laughs> Keep R C drifting fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. That's so clean. Ah, uh, the freaking Boondocks livery though, with those wheels. Are you kidding me right now? Wow. This is like a thing. Ah, uh, son. The big body with the sunroof freaking shit. Big body, big wang, big sunroof, big wheels. (laughs) Just big, son. So sick, though. I want to stage up a photo where, I mean, they might have actually been in action, but 
I, I need like a all the way through the turn, everybody lined up. Uh, you need to make a calendar. Shh. We're doing it, Randall. I think we should do this, though. We should plan on doing one for next year since it's already December. Mm -hmm. So maybe we should try to do like a photo <clears throat> contest every month and the winner of the photo contest is going to help us like for every couple months, you know? Or at least even one. Just something from next year. You win it, you get to be in the calendar with everybody else's whips. Why not every month? You get every month covered. Well, then none of us get to be in it. Unless you win. That's what the last couple months <laughs> are for. We, can we enter our own contest? That's what uh, the two months of the year before and then like the extra month <laughs> that you put in afterwards is for? Just all no, of us? I mean, I mean, all of our stuff that we do, like there's no way we could have a competition every month. That we just wouldn't have enough participation. Yeah, you're right. I think plus we need some heavy hitting pictures from scale science, man. We need that that team vibe. Especially if we're doing a scale science calendar, we need to feature mostly scale science ourselves and then maybe do a contest winner one, you know? Yep. Unless we're just doing an RC drift calendar. I would need a scale science calendar. It could be like one of the sixteen month calendars and then like, you know, the little extra pictures can be like the contest winner or something. Yeah. Definitely. See, like the ones that we used to do um, back in the day, you'd get like a the big month photo, but then like on the calendar, you could drop some other photos like on days, or you could have them like in the days, or in like the backgrounds, or even like surrounding the dates and stuff on the calendar. They would do extra photos, etc. So we could have some fun with it for sure. Or the other option would be we put like a little spread in the middle so there'd be maybe like a poster feature or some like scale science like sick feature photo that you could use as like a poster once the calendar is done. Banging for your bucks. Oh, you know what? I got to jump out of the snow cooler for a second. There's actually this video of Keith this week was sick, dude. Keith is a shredder. He hits that turn right there cleaner than anyone else I've ever seen slide GGT. Wow. He's lead, he's lead on that. In the red car. Mm -hmm. Watch him come around this right here. Like, so smooth. Locked in. Yeah, like, he's one of those, in these videos, like, just watch his front wheels. Yeah. Just dialed. He knows where he's going. I love all the little bumps and humps and stuff they have too. Like, look at his front end just do, 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 do. Ah. So sick. Good driving. All the hot fire. All right, fellas. It's late. Let's take a couple minutes. We'll wrap up the show tonight. Anyone have any questions or anything? Uh, I think I missed a couple. Chris, you said, tell me now it's time to tune. How is everyone adjusting? What What do you mean, man? <laughs> uh, maybe I'm just half awake. I don't, I don't understand. That's tight saying. We might need to do that. You know, the one thing, though... Yeah, I don't know. You'd have to vouch for this. Do people post the same photos every week, or do you actually see variety? Right, that's a great question. So one thing I hate is when, like, you know, for a month you're gonna see the same build like five, six times. Somebody's gonna, 
like you built a new skyline and then just so happens like three or four days later somebody's like let me see those skyline builds <laughs> this dude just posted it in like 19 places and then you see it like three days later and then two weeks from now they're like let me see the purple cars and it's also a purple car and then oh definitely that's what's been happening lately i've been that guy I mean, I've been that guy. That's why I'm asking, like, if they did it every week, do you see the same shit every week? That would be my fear, but, I mean, at the same time, a yeah, good build's a good build, so whatever. <clears throat> ah. So, Chris, I mean, a lot of us are finding subtle adjustments so far, but... I mean, I I haven't changed one thing on my Usakani. It shreds. The D5 is ripping. I'm going to try putting a little caster back into it to see if I can get it to pull out of drift a little easier. It's Like I said, it's a little delayed. So I'm going to try to add some caster to help it like fall back to center and hopefully help it want to transition a little faster. I'm going to play with it, though. I got some little tiny shims, so I'm going to go like... 0.5 at a time, I think. Let's see what happens. The hell is that, Matt? Um, I think his name's Dr. Finkelstein. Um, Nightmare? Nightmare Before Christmas, yeah. Dope, dude. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. Video games, it's easy to have like 10 cars, isn't it? Or more. I wish, I wish real life was Forza sometimes, because I could have a few hundred cars in my garage that are too tight. Yeah. Be sitting on fifteen million shit. Damn. Dude, it'd be it'd be a small fortune just housing all the cars I had in Forza. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'd have to be winning those those fifty to hundred and fifty thousand dollar races or more, you know, just to pay the bill on keeping all those cars fed with gas and oil changes and <laughs> battery tenders. You probably have to actually hire a driver to like drive some of them because you can't get to them. Oh hell yeah. I mean you'd it realistically have to be like you would need to drive every car at least two days a year minimum. That's what I'm saying. You got to have a couple drivers. Like, all right, fool, we're like, we mobbing out today. Come on. Like, I need y'all to drive four of our cars today. Okay. <laughs> Go. Yo. Which one y'all want to drive? <laughs> Side, sidebar. Jimmy's coming through. Yo. It, for it's real. time to play five minutes of let's help Randall land a hottie at the smoke shop. So, oh, my God. I haven't been to that dispensary in here because they price has got, you know, a little, a little high. I'm oh, they got the you. California tax. Yeah, they they are like for real started going up. I'm like, damn, all right, I'm gonna have to keep fucking with y'all. So I haven't seen Lindsay in about a month and a half now. My bad for all the noise. I had to shift to get power on. You're right. But last Sunday, so. <laughs> all right, so last Sunday. <laughs> I got invited to this neighbor girl across the street. Like she's, I've always had a crush on her. And about six years ago, she was like dropping me hints and shit, and I was just too shy to pick up on them. And then uh, she ended up getting another dude, and uh, like long story short, it was, like makes me mad. He's like another me. Like, and I got to hang out. I got to hang out with this fool on Sunday because it was her birthday. So I invited to her birthday. Like by pure mistake, on Saturday she invited me. Cause I was outside and her mom was talking. Cause I've been talking to her mom, trying to learn how to make tamales. And then like we were supposed to get together to make some tamales. And then Jessica was having tamales for her birthday, so she was like, "Hey, you should come over, have some tamales, hang out. It's a PJ theme party." And I'm like, "PJs? Girl, you tripping? I don't even wear PJs. Your man gonna do that?" All these thoughts going through my head, so I'm nervous. I'm hella nervous. When the day comes, so it's Sunday. I'm like, I can't show up. With, with no present, I need to go grab her a present. I don't know what to even get her. I, I don't want to try to get her nothing cool. Her man's going to be there. Like, I don't want to try to get her no, like, lovey dovey shit. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Hey, she likes cars. She likes Dodges. She drives the fucking SRT Challenger. Why not go get her a die cash Challenger? Did that. Felt lame as shit. Turns out she got really fucking hype. She liked it. And she was like, See? I told you they have them. Blah, 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 blah. 
And this motherfucker cussed this look at me like, really? Cool? Like, really? You want know, to come over and make my girl happy on my birthday? Like, and you were trying to not do that. <laughs> yeah, I was trying not to do that. And then, like, I have a little Halloween town set up. Like, like, yeah. like, like, like little, little figurines, little Halloween town, little buildings and shit. I have that set up. They have a Christmas town set up. And I was talking to her dad about it because I got really hyped. I'm talking to her dad. She's in the kitchen doing birthday shit. I'm talking to her dad. We're getting hype about this shit. She comes in, like, what are you guys talking about? And it was like this little Halloween town. What? You got a Halloween town? That's crazy. Blah, 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 blah. This fool shoots this look at me again, like, oh, really, motherfucker? You over here really impressing her <laughs> on her birthday over here. I didn't wear PJs. He didn't wear PJs. We're the only two fools not in PJs, too. Like, everyone is in PJs. Like, and, <laughs> Dude, and you know, <laughs> you know they had, like, a sick fight the day before, too. So, then he's really eyeballing you, right? Man. Man. <laughs> but, like, it sucks because we're sitting here. We're kicking it. Like, we're cool. We're talking. Like, who sees the world like I do? Like, we listen to, like, the same kind of music. He likes cars, but, like, not like I do. Like, but I mean, like he's cool, but damn, damn, it was such an awkward experience. Like any anything, like I was trying not to like make her happy at anything. I didn't want her to smile at anything. I got a hug from her, and in my head, I'm like, yeah. And I look over, and this motherfucker's just looking at me. I'm like, like oh, fool, no, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. What are you doing hugging? I don't hug. What are you doing? <laughs> Got a big ass plate of tamales. That was cool. Nice. Life is good. So, like, vape shop girl, she didn't, I mean, smoke shop girl went away. Vape shop girl, she's, you know, Sona, Sona something. Cool. Like, I saw her on Instagram and then she's Instagram, married. Her tender and she's something. Cool. Like, she's something. Something that your boy ain't, you know, about. She cool. Like, she's a fun time, but, you know. <laughs> So, baby oh, yeah. girl out the question, smoke shop girl out the question, like lifelong crush across the street out the question. So now I gotta like swipe clean slate and look for some new girls somewhere. And, you know, like I don't know. I got I got some ideas, bro. I got some ideas. I'll, I'm gonna help you plot up some cuties. I. I was gonna say they got to help the cute. You know. They don't necessarily <laughs> got to be like super skinny or nothing. They, don't, they I mean, like as long as they're cute, you know. I like them a little fluffy. We've, we've been through this before. They could be anywhere from my size to like one and a half of me, you know. Like I, they can't be like hella hella bigger than me, but. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, bro! Good That's stuff. That's awesome. Hell yeah! Well, everyone, drop a suggestion. Where should Randall find the next story to tell? The next story to tell. Man, and like a whole bunch of other awkward shit. Like she's in the Hot Wheels. She likes the same thing. Jessica, I'm talking about Jessica. She's in the Hot Wheels. She likes the same thing as I do on some. Like low key, she just likes to kick it inside and watch like Hallmark movies and Netflix and shit. Like she doesn't like the party. She hates people. She's like extremely introverted. A lot of people. She gets anxiety driving on the highway. Like I don't like on the highway. Like are you serious? Like couldn't be a match made in heaven, perfect. But I messed up. Didn't pick up signs, so she found another me, a different me. Like, like I say, he's like the same skin color and everything. He's just like a little bit buffer and like he drives. He drives an automatic SRT ch uh, charger. So you know. I think uh, I think it's it's time to it's time to stop talking and just go tell her that uh, yeah. She fucked up. You fucked up, and then she fucked up. The end. Be like, look, lady, you need me. Look, I like your tamales. You like my Halloween town. Let's make babies. The end. <laughs> I like I like the Santa Claus onesie. You know. Ooh. <laughs> oh. oh man.
So uh, let me get your number. Yeah. Made me mad. Ooh, like, ooh, I was mad. Like when I looked out, I looked out because from you know she lived. They lived right across the street. So when I looked out from my kitchen window and I saw her in this cute ass little, it had like Santa and little sleighs and elves and reindeer shit on a little onesie. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Ooh, like. I need to go. I just and then, and then there's Avery getting out the car, and I'm like, "Are you fucking kidding me, fool? Like, I'm supposed to go over there in pajamas, and this fool's there? Like, y'all crazy? Y'all crazy? <laughs> See, you gotta show up in pajamas next time. And be like, oh, you ain't down for your girl? Damn, son. Right? That would have got you the best look. No, those are the exact thoughts. No. Like, See, like, I mean, I'm in pajamas. This fool's gonna be mad. Like, oh, he's gonna show up in pajamas, and I'm like. Especially hey. I don't even wear pajamas. Yeah, it was the pajama party. Hey, man. I come to a party not themed. Randall, that's that's the shit it takes, bro. You know what I mean? When you ride or die, bro, if they if they see that yeah. you're down, that it's the little yeah. shit like that that makes the difference, homie. Y'all know how ridiculous my wife is. She would yeah. have left him for you right there. <laughs> She'd have been like, yo, you need to go right home. there. Look, this yeah. man, the neighbor I'll carried right over back. with pajamas on. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. well, like, you know, as a matter of fact, I kind of like, I kind of shaped my life on the world on him. Like, see, like, didn't you notice? Like, you kind of like him. This motherfucker showed up in pajamas. You didn't want to wear them. He showed up in them. Fuck it. It's over, man. And he got me a, cha- a, cha- a challenger. Like, uh huh. Over. It's nope. over. Cool. Like, you fucked up. <laughs> and exactly. that's so funny. I felt so lame about giving an adult woman a die cast car. And then she got extremely hyped. Like, like how hype we were! Oh, you weren't there when we. I know you were hype when we got the boxes of cars. Like me, Jason, and that fool Zach were like jumping around and dancing. Like she was hype like that. She was like, oh blah 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 blah. I'm like, oh fuck! Please stop! Please! Oh damn! I didn't know. Please stop. Like you nah, see, bro. That's that, that's that's the wave of success, Randall. You gotta ride that shit on your surfboard, my brother. Like I say, no, nah, I'm too much of a guy of respect. Like I'd have been giving my ass that look too. Like motherfucker, you really gonna give her some shit? Like, Yo, no, I didn't on know. The, on the reels right now, you you got Netflix? Who me? Yeah, hell yeah. All right, you do you watch Big Mouth? Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, okay. So a lot of the stuff that you tell me, I feel like. You're having to like <laughs> battle with the hormone monsters in your head right there, you know, like, but it, it's like that. And then in the new season, how they have like all the other at additions, like they have the like anxiety mosquito and like her crazy purple cat. That's just like, See, you can't ever tell if it's on her side or it's like trying to screw her over, you know, I haven't seen the new season yet. And that's what my brother keeps telling me. He's like, you need to catch the new season. You and that exact mosquito we're gonna buy. And I was like, great, great, great. <laughs> great. <laughs> no, it's 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 a good it's a good one, man. But I don't know, it, it makes me laugh when you're like telling me some of these stories. I'm just it's making me think right to that show. I like that show because I feel like they, they hit nailed it with life and just the like weird shit that happens when you're a teenager. But I'm not a Teenager, man. No, but you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I know, I feel it though. You, you have to agree. Like, when it goes back to like dating or like trying to date, like, it goes back to that same kind of feeling of like high school was for most people when they started like actively dating, maybe not just had like someone they held their hand for a couple weeks at school and then they like wrote a letter to each other in a locker and broke up kind of shit, you know? My first real relationship was in high school. Yeah. So I think it's like that mentality kind of comes back where it's like, I don't know, like cutesy and you want to like do things and bring and see, things. Like now, and... if, even when they're in like 2022, like I don't even know how to flirt into it. Being 31 and hey, being 2020, I don't even know how to flirt. Like, hey, girl, I don't Me have neither. I'm trying to link up. <laughs> <laughs> Like I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to do past that. I'm, I don't have COVID. Uh, I like you. You trying to link up? Like then, then we'll go from there, you know? Right? You're just you trying? What's up? Do, do you Dude. like cats? Do you, do you like the little meow meow fuzzy guys? I like them. <laughs> I used to, uh, I used to really like the, uh, the like extremely cheesy pickup lines. Just something that was like, did you really just say that shit? Seriously, and it was like, well, you know, like, what was the uh, 
How much does a hippo weigh? Enough to break the ice. Oh, I'd be trying shit oh. like that, but then like I mess it up, and I'd be like, how, sure. how, how much? You know, how much the hippo break the ice? I mean, I mean, you're, uh, you're a hippo. No, no, fuck no. Um, no, no. <laughs> Dude, greatest, greatest social like social media dating site pickup line I ever saw or used was uh, on a scale of one to America, how free are you tomorrow? And half the time they just be like, oh, that's that's good. I'll get a beer. And I actually got hit with it. Like somebody matched me and said that to me. So I was like, yeah, this is a good one. People use it. Now that was years ago. So don't like maybe maybe don't use that one anymore. Yeah, but saying, like is anybody got a dating in 2020 guidebook? <laughs> oh, Jimmy's got the tips, Randall. If you if you try to say the hippo breaks the ice one, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a hippo. That's what I said. No, that's why I'd be like, that's what would happen if that would be me. <laughs> like, oh, you know, you the hippo on the ice. No, no, you're a hip. No, not you're a hippo. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You damn hippos. I'm just going to leave now. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, no more questions seem to be coming in. Uh, more stories next time. <laughs> I want to thank everyone for tuning in with us tonight. All y'all make the show special and awesome. And thank you for coming along with us. And I want to spend... A second, giving a shout out and a thank you to all of my co-hosts, Matt, Andy, Randall. You guys are awesome. Have fun doing this with you guys every week. Have fun with everybody out in comment land. It's always entertaining. For you, yo. Yeah, man. thanks. Thanks for you, buddy. Let's let's keep it up, man. I I like uh, I like this. It's it's fun to bring something to fruition. I'll be keep here. Right. 35 episodes. What's up? Anyways, everyone, have a great night. Thanks for tuning in. Good to talk with everyone. Monster Peace saying, branding. Later. Later.